Uh, my name is Jacob Loveland. Cody Chambers. Scott Bell. Iceland Holden. Brandon Mitchell. Uh, I'm a corporal. 3531 uh, Motor T operator. Motor T mechanic. And I am in a corporal. In the United States Marine Corps. I started thinking about it when I was about 13 years old. It was just kind of a, a spark, I guess, that I was like, I might want to do that someday. A lot of nervousness. I was, I was honestly a little scared but kind of excited at the same time. So this is definitely the biggest life choice I've ever made. You know, everyone was excited to go to college and I was excited to go do this. The day came where I actually had to ship out to recruit training. That day was actually Mother's Day. And so <laughs> the same day I got my mom some flowers and said goodbye. She cried, um, but she was both tears of, I guess, joy and sadness, so. Oh, absolutely, I'm definitely here for my mother. It was, it was actually one of the bigger reasons why I went ahead and joined. I have a big family, and I lived with my mom most of the time. All the other kids had already moved out. I never felt like I could leave the house because I was always taking care of my mom. I actually was able to fix certain things a little bit better because I chose that duty station. I had more ways to support them financially because I now had that extra income and stuff, but I cannot be there for them. The best part about being in the Marine Corps would definitely be uh, adventure. You can be sent anywhere at any time. Being with other Marines, just having that strong bond together with all of them. You know, other like civilian jobs, you don't really get like as close as you do in the Marine Corps. I'd say the worst thing about being in the Marines. It would probably be the hurry up and wait. Just every Marine experiences it. You know, get to, get to some place really fast. And you end up waiting there for long periods of time. You know, it's not like you get to choose your own day. So one day you might have no idea what you're going to be doing. And uh, I think uncertainty can cause fear. So I think that, that'd be the worst part about the Marine Corps. Best thing about Norway? I'd say the landscape. The scenery. I, I love the scenery. It's a lot different from back home. I like the mountainside. I like the beautiful views and stuff like that. Because I'm from Missouri, and there's not very big mountains there. I actually legit have not been in snow before. I, I, all this ice is something different to me. <laughs> you know, the views everywhere you go, it's like, uh, it, it's hard to find that in certain places that you go. Whereas here, it's been almost everywhere we've been so far been a great view. I, I like how the houses are built, like they go up the mountain. It looks really cool, like they have houses in between all the crevices of the mountain. The worst thing here, definitely the cold. Probably the prices. Uh, the beer was like 10 or $12 a beer, I think, which is outrageous. As an American is uh, trying to figure out road signs, constantly trying to figure out kilometers to mile per hour. I'll say the weights, too, at the gym. Uh, Norway definitely has the most prettiest girls. Very good to look at. <laughs> Very nice to look at. You guys are definitely like to smile a lot. So smile is always attractive. It's weird here. I've heard that the men don't usually go up to Norwegian girls here. I think it's more of an equal opportunity kind of thing. But I'd probably buy her a drink, sit down and talk to her. That's going to translate something for me. <laughs> just something random to spark a conversation. Probably just start with Snapchat, honestly. You just you just slide it over, you know. You just pull up the little the the bitmoji, and you just set it down, and then that that's it. You don't need to talk. Looks looks do it all, you know. 